welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making chili, and I have my husband here to help me. Damien, could you please come and help us? It's his famous recipe. It's really good. We have onion. We have pepper. We have beans. You can get them fresh as well, but we chose to get the canned ones, which is much quicker to make. We have chipotle pepper, some Lowry's chili spices and seasonings. We also have fajita seasoning. Then we got here some chicken broth and two cans of Campbell's tomato soup. So you're going to mix your tomato soups, your chicken broth, and all your beans together first. And you want to bring that to a simmer. Broth here. We are mixing everything together, the tomato sauces, the chicken broth, the beans, that's the black beans, and now he's putting in the kidney beans, and um, we're just going to mix all of that together and until it starts to simmer. This is the basis of your chili. Just make sure that you're putting in the liquids as well. You want the liquids in there too. I guess that adds to the chili. You're going to want to mix it up a little bit to get it incorporated. So right now we're going to need to cut up um, our onions, bell pepper, and celery. We're going to be using three cups of bell pepper, uh, two cups of red onions, okay. and then uh, two cups of, of celery, I believe it is. Notice the onions are red onions. They do add to the, the flavor, does add to it. We're going to dice them up. Let me just rinse my pepper quickly. Dicing it is to cut it long wise and then as you can see I'm cutting it into cubes. These are the size of dice. Whenever you see a recipe saying dice, that's what you're going to do. So I'm doing this to the pepper. Most likely it will be the whole entire pepper. And then we will do the same thing to the onion. Beans are coming out really nicely. They're steaming up so it's like a nice little stew that we have going there really nice. So as he puts in the, ol the olive oil, I personally like cooking with uh, extra virgin olive oil, but it's up to you what you want. And I'm doing the same thing with the onions. I'm dicing them up just like that. Well, <clears throat> what we did while you guys were gone is we cut up the onions the peppers and the celery into dices and we're gonna saute them all together. The peppers, we had cut approximately, approximately two peppers, um, an entire onion, and how many celery do you think we cut? We cut about three, three or four whole sticks. Of celery, so that's more or less how much you're gonna need um, to be all sauteed. Do I throw the onions inside with the peppers? Yes, you can throw the onions in right now. Okay. So here we have our onions. And we're throwing it in there nicely. As you can see, we put in here the onion, the pepper, and the celery. And we put in a little a teaspoon of butter, of margarine. Here we go. Real butter. Um, sorry, real I like to I like to just add a little southern southern twang to things. <laughs> so rather than using margarine, which is a bit healthier, I just go with the real butter because I believe it adds a lot more flavor. Yeah. So we use some butter, like just a, a teaspoon in there or a tablespoon, and just to give it that little um, golden touch. I'll say. So he's mixing it up there while this is still on. Now he put it on low. Once it started uh, boiling, 
um, lightly boiling, he turned it down to low, just so that it won't, he wants it to be at a simmer. So you're mixing that up until it's, what, golden? Or? Uh, we want the onions and bell peppers to be a little soft. Okay, so just until it's nice and soft. Yeah, we want it brown and just a little bit soft. Okay, and as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, cleaning and washing your dishes at the same time that you're cooking is always ideal because you don't want to finish cooking and have a boatload of dishes. So try your best to wash your dishes and cook at the same time. It's always faster and it helps you have more space in your kitchen, especially if you don't have that big of a kitchen. As you can see, my cooking area here isn't that big, so it's always best to do that. You want the sauce to just be warm, warm and like all incorporated so that you can add this mixture yes. into it. Yes. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Exactly. Some, some whole peppers here. I'm going to get that in there. You want to be careful not to um, make them too soft, right? So that exactly. they won't become this mush. Yeah. You have to be careful when sauteing it. You don't want a mush. You want it to keep its flavor. Yeah, exactly. And if you notice our, if you notice our onions, they 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 still haven't even gotten a brown yet. So that's mm -hmm. why we're allowing them to cook a few more moments. We want them slightly browned. Mm -hmm. well, now I'm gonna add a, a tablespoon of fajita seasoning. That's just your normal store-bought fajita seasoning. Tablespoon, if you could please prepare it of uh, chili powder. We have Lowry's spices and seasoning. This is always the best flavor. And you can add the chipotle peppers right now as well. The entire can? Yes. So you're getting all of that mixed in nicely. And then you're gonna put that into the mixture? Yes, we're just gonna let this cook for about two minutes. And it smells really good, people. If you were here, mm, it smells so good. And so you're going to put it in there? Yes. Okay. So now, if the camera take a look at that, we're mixing all of that in so nicely. And then in the same pot without cleaning it, you add your meat. In that pot there? Yes. So, as you can notice here, we have ground turkey. You can use minced meat, but turkey is always healthier, so I always opt for the ground turkey. We're going to put that into the saucepan, right? Yes, without washing it. Because you want to keep those flavors in there. The best option would be to have it thawed out first, but since I was in a rush, I have it frozen, so you just need to uh, cook it on low and it'll start defrosting as, um, as you go. But the best option would be to have it thawed out first of all. Hi. So we are mixing in the chili. As you can see here, we have the the sauces that we had together, right? And then we mix in our <clears throat> then we mix in our chipotle peppers and our onions and peppers and stuff. And now we're just bringing that to a simmer. In the meantime, as well, we have the minced meat cooking up. Minced meat is now uh, brown, so we're about to add that to the chili. Nice and brown, so we're going to add that to the chili mixture. So we're going to, um, this is the most crucial part actually, um, you've got everything mixed in now, but, um, the chili, it's not nearly done. With chili, the secret is for it to simmer, and chili needs to cook slowly. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we... You told me that that takes two hours to cook on, on low, right? Exactly. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to mix everything together. Mm -hmm. I'm going to turn this down to low. Wasn't it on low already? It was on no, medium? we turned it back up a little bit to get it, uh, just to get back to a nice boil. Okay. And then, but now I'm turning it down to low. Mm -hmm. um, if we can focus on the pot for a moment. Um, mm -hmm. And we're just going to mix and incorporate everything together. Okay. 
And um, and then what we're gonna do? It's smelling so good. Yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover this pot, okay. and this is gonna literally set there covered for ninety minutes. So that's an hour and a half, and we have on low, okay. on low for an hour and a half. So we keep this cover. an hour and a half covered on low for an hour and a half, and we'll come back in a few minutes. And here you go, people, your completed chili. You just wanted to leave it there for an hour and a half cooking. And as it cooks, it'll all steam together. And as you see, it'll all mix in together and have that delicious looking chili taste.